Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this daily currency call where we share our analysis and ideas for a specific currency for each day. So the usual schedule of the week is Monday, Aussie and Kiwi, Tuesday, Euro, Wednesday, Pound, Thursday, Yen and Gold, Friday, Canadian Dollar. <clears throat> so before we start the session today, do let me know, is it your first time here? I've just launched the poll. Yeah, so this webinar is going to be very beneficial to both the long-term investors and short-term traders. We will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, and also highlighting potential targets and risk. <clears throat> so a disclaimer here, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. So just want to take a look at the poll. Yeah, we do have quite a few first timers here. So do help me with the next poll. Just find out how did you get here? Um, yeah, so while you guys are filling up the poll, a quick introduction about Jin. So Jin is the founder of LCMS Traders and Forex Briefcase. He teaches members of the LCMS Traders Club on how to trade FX. And for Forex Briefcase, he trades an account with more than US $12 million on a daily basis for his managed account clients. He is also an international speaker where he speaks in countries like Hong Kong, UK, US, Australia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, and of course, here in Singapore, sharing his views about the FX market. So just take a look, take a quick look at the poll. Yeah, I see a lot of you coming in from the Telegram channel and Traders Club. So I just want to do a quick sharing about the Traders Club. So if you came in from the Telegram channel, you may find this uh, signal familiar. We we guide you on how to and when to enter the trade, but you do not know where to exit. So in the Traders Club, we not only give you the signals earlier than the Telegram channel, we also tell you the strategy behind the signals and we guide you on. Uh, with, we post up the analysis with images too, and we also guide you on where to exit. Um, why we, do we do this? So that in the long run, you not only earn from the signals, but you also learn how to trade better. Um, yeah, if you are new to trading and require some coaching, we have uh, two times a week webinars on Monday and Wednesday. So on Monday, we do a little bit of group coaching, economic uh, develop, recent market, economic developments updates, and also uh, run through trade ideas. And also on Wednesday, we do live trading session where real trades are entered live. So this is the best time to learn from Jane go through the thought process and, you know, pick Jin's brain on pretty much any trading related questions you might have. And lastly, we have a wide range of analysis for club members like the currency watch list every, every single day, weekly correlation tables, um, tri daily trade ideas, and of course, tutorial videos like the 40 FX Kickstarter is all here to help you get started trading. So, we have all this information here, shortcutting your way to trading success. So to join the group, this, so this is a Facebook group. To join this Facebook group, it's a paid subscription of $1.99 a year, which is less than a dollar a day. So if you're facing any uncertainty in your trading, this is the club to join. You need to get some guidance towards profit and some coaching to improve your confidence, confidence and strategy immediately. So trading can be lonely, but with a community of coaches, senior traders, and of course, Jean here to guide you. Trading can be enjoyable and definitely more profitable. So if you haven't already, hop on this link and click on this button, one and nine a year, and join now. So with that, pass the time now to Jean for the currency call. Good morning. We are live here, Monday morning, 1st of March. So two months done with the year another 10 more to go how has 2021 been right uh i hope it's been good for you now we are on monday so we are talking about the aussie dollar and the kiwi dollar we have the reserve bank of australia rates decision and rate statement tomorrow morning so you know we're going to go through that telling you what to pay attention to in terms of what could move the aussie dollar um, possibly significantly higher. So those of you who are joining us on Facebook Live, the link is there in the comments. Please feel free to join us on the Zoom call right now just because the chat is there so you can ask questions, you can um, you know, 
have all the other information if you require. So let's get started looking at the news. I'll get to that one. Okay. So forextradingasia.com, as usual, head there for your economic um, analysis and more importantly, the economic calendar. <clears throat> today is Monday, looking at the news that we have coming up today. Uh, we just had the, well, just at 9.45 a.m., the Chinese Chising Manufacturing PMI. That gives you an indication of how the Chinese economic data is looking. The PMI numbers going from 51.5 to expected was 51.5, came out at 50.9. So what we see here is that drop going from 51.5 to 50.9, but in terms of a PMI number, it's still in the expansionary phase. So this actually led to that you know, big jump up in the Aussie dollar. One of the reasons why we saw that big jump in the Aussie dollar. Following that today, not a lot much news that could move the Aussie or the Kiwi dollar. Some pound news, Euro news, not going to do too much. Um, and then some US PMI numbers coming out later, later tonight. So Traders Club members, um, we have our call tonight as well. I will be giving you some more information on preparing you for that manufacturing PMI um, and also the ISM manufacturing PMI for the US dollar. I think there might be some good trading opportunities coming around with those two news. Back to the main thing on Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. You can see at 11.30 a.m. we have the Reserve Bank of Australia rate statement and the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision. While the rates are most likely going to be held at 0.1%, pay attention to the RBA rate statement. That gives you an indication of whether they're going to be increasing rates in the future, whether they're going to be cutting rates in the future. In my view, they're likely to do neither. They're probably going to say that they're going to hold it at 0.1% for a long period of time until they reach that stability, the economic stability, the employment and also the inflation targets of 2%. So the main thing is also whether they're going to say um, that's that line, that one line that they're going to say that they're going to remain flexible and take action if required. Out of all of this, I don't expect much changes coming from the rate decision or the rate statement, which is actually a good thing. No changes means there's a level of stability. With that level of stability, we could actually see some strength come around, come back to the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar had that big drop last week. Um, with some strength coming around, we do see very good buying opportunities. But remember, any trade you do in this first week of the month, you're going to know that you have a lot of trades. So you have the Reserve Bank of Australia here. Um, on Wednesday, we have the New Zealand building consents. It's like building permits, but not too keen on that. GDP going from 3.3% to expected 2.5%. So although we are possibly seeing a drop in GDP, it is again that somewhat of a stability after this whole COVID scenario or during this whole COVID scenario, um, we still see GDP at a positive 2.5%, could actually be a slight positive to the Aussie dollar. Again, possibly signaling some Aussie strength. Um, and then we have more PMI numbers from the Chinese. Uh, US numbers after that. And then retail sales number, not, not much change on the Aussie side, keeping at 0.6%. The main thing coming to Friday is to know that there is the unemployment rates, the non-farm payrolls, and the average hourly earnings. I will stop talking about non-farm payrolls uh, through the week. I will tell you more about that on Friday. But for any trade that you try and get into right now, you need to know that we could see that um, non-farm payroll have a big impact on you know across the board because this is the US dollar we're talking about. So with that said, 
how it looks like on the charts. Um, this is the Aussie dollar on the H4 time frame. Aussie dollar on H4 time frame. Last week, when Daniel spoke about it, um, he said that it was going to come down from this point. I was zooming once, it'd be easy to see. He said it was going to retrace back down. It did exactly that and go up to test that 7950 level. It not only tested that, it broke above before reversing sharply back down. This big reversal, that US dollar strength that we saw um, in the later part of last week was across the board. Good thing is that it came all the way down, hit that 7730 support level, right? It hit that 7730 support level. And right now it looks like it's bouncing back up. As that bounced back up in with the support of the Reserve Bank of Australia's rate statement, rate decision, and also possibility of a stable GDP number coming on Wednesday, we, I think that we might actually see the Aussie dollar climb higher, right? So at this point, 7760, we could see that, you know, a good 30, 40 pip stop loss for that 80 pip take profit level for that first one is to two risk reward ratio on the upside. If that move continues, then we could actually see that move again further higher up from 7844 towards that 7950 level again. So we could see that move continue upwards, but this is going to be a two part trade. A two part trade, first going from 7760 towards 7844, 7845. If that breaks, if that resistance level breaks, then we could see it go towards 7950. So relatively straightforward here. If there is any surprise coming from the Reserve Bank of Australia, which is a bit unlikely, we could see that sharp reversal. But if that reversal continues, then look for it to break 7730 before we see any downside. But at this point, I would be more keen to look for that buying opportunity. With the Aussie dollar done, looking at the New Zealand dollar again, same thing. Not a lot of news here for the New Zealand dollar, but we did have the Reserve Bank of New Zealand last week talking about the rates and the possibility of you know, projections into the future. Same thing, New Zealand dollar went through that retracement, hit 7293 before going up to test 7400. Not, again, not only did it test that level, it broke above went outside of Bollinger Band before coming sharply back down. Right now, it's bounced off 7.225. It's very close to 7.293, so I'm not looking for any trades at this point. Only if it breaks above 7.293 towards 7.400. So look for buying opportunities. I'll be a bit more specific here. Look for buying opportunities from 7315. You have a 30 pip stop loss for that 80 or even 90 pip take profit. Risk reward of one is two, three. Okay. But this is where you have to be very patient. Let it move that 30 something pips upwards before you get into a trade. Let it break the 7293 resistance level before you look for further upside. With that said, you know, we do have a lot of other news coming around this week. Uh, we have a lot of pound news. We have the US dollar, um, non-farm payrolls as well. Make sure you join us for the other currency calls throughout the week. And with that said, I will pass it back to Jin Wei. Okay, thank you, Jin. So um, I just posted up some links in the chat. Before that, do help me with this poll. Let me know what do you guys think of this webinar. Yeah, I've just posted up some links in the chat. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the daily recordings, Telegram channel for the free Forex signals, Traders Club link, uh, for the Kickstarter link, and also the Oats. That's, uh, and also our Forex briefcase link, if you are looking for a managed account service. Yeah, so like Jin said, tonight we have a session for the Traders Club members. Remember to join us. 
And for the rest of you, uh, see you guys tomorrow for the euro currency call. Thank you so much for your time. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.